Coach Hindu checking in. You know, I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. The big question is, how long is Coach Sanders going to be at Jackson State? And I say, he's been there long enough. He's already been there long enough. What do you mean? He's been there long enough for the kids to understand the level of intensity that it takes to be dominant and be successful. He's been there long enough for people to understand the intensity that it takes in order to move to being an upper echelon program. He's been there long enough for the other great coaches in the SWAC to say, hey, man, we need to ride this wave. He's been there long enough for everybody else to take suit and jump on the bandwagon. See, the reality of it is, is this. If Coach Standards was there 10 years, there would still be people that sat back and didn't do anything with their time. Didn't seize the moment. People do it every day in every walk of life. And what will happen is your opportunity will pass you by. And you'll wish that you put all your effort into the time that you had. See, when I was fortunate enough to, to coach and play, the way I looked at it was when I coached, if you got an opportunity to go on the field, one, I need you to represent. Represent. Represent for that position that you play. Represent for, that, for the, the things that you've been taught by that coach. Take advantage of your opportunity. Because when you take advantage of your opportunity, nobody can take that away from you. The swag has a unique opportunity because you got you got an albino unicorn. People don't understand the sleepless nights and the work and the effort, effort that Coach Sanders and his team and his coaches and his organization have had to put in. And the reality of it is a lot of people wanted him to fail from the beginning. He understands that if he was to take that next step to the next level, there's going to be a certain there's going to be a certain portion of those that are around him that are going to want him to fail. So that's why we got to get behind him. That's why we got to do things better. I didn't I, I didn't play in the swag. I coached in the swag, but I didn't play in the swag. But I, I could tell the difference. I know what it is. This is a very unique opportunity. And the worst thing that would happen is if that opportunity passed you by and you say, man, you know what? When we was getting all this free press, being at another school at the SWAG, man, we should have been on it. We should have kept the fields cut. We should have tightened up the tightened up the, the way the, the, the locker room looks or the stadium looks. Just just takes the effort. You got to be recruit ready at all times. You know, even the controversy with Alabama um, – with, with, with Coach Robinson. The reality of it is, he is swag. He has a great list of accolades. And I've heard Coach Sanders do nothing but applaud and edify all the other coaches at the other places. I don't hear him negative talk to those other people. I believe in that. When I'm in sales, I don't have to negative talk the next the next company because I believe in what I'm doing. Kids at Jackson State, I'm proud of you guys proud of y'all I see the other school other schools doing your thing and in 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 raising your intensity in the recruiting level that's what you got to do you have a, a, a unique history but he can't stay there forever so while you have him there you got to do everything that you can to ride the wave Typhoons don't last forever. They come and they go. So you got to make it happen while you got a chance. Got to make it happen. When you reach that high, when they go undefeated, what's left for them to do? If they lose one game, you people will be talking about him. Hell, when he came, when he got there first, people were trying to discredit him then. But he stuck to the vision. 
There's only one, you know, you got several coaches, man. And the other thing is you hear him say it all the time. He owe it to his coaches. You got to understand, man. In this coaching profession, there aren't many that get the opportunity to go from HBCUs and go up the ladder and take their staff. So it's a big opportunity for those coaches that bust their behind with a lot of sleepless nights. Kids don't take that for granted. I used to tell my kids all the time, hey, man, it ain't nothing personal. Y'all the men. I love the way Coach Sanders talked to them kids. Y'all the men. And so the reality of it is, is that the kids, when you do your thing, you put food on my, on my family's table. When you don't do what I've coached you to do, you take it off my family's plate. So when you put it in those terms for those young men to understand it, then they take a different type of, of, of responsibility. So it starts with them buying in, and they've done that. I tell y'all, hey, man, stay focused, man. The, the ability to learn how to stay focused in the circus that's around y'all is something that you won't get from any institution in America. It's a very unique situ situation. If I'm a SWAT commissioner, hey, man, I'm on, I'm on a Zoom call with the entire league saying, man, we cannot afford to have any more negative representations of any of our student athletes online. Period. Because the world is watching. The world is watching. And y'all are making a difference. And it shifts. There's so much more behind the scenes that it shifts. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. Billion dollar industry. And y'all are making it shift. And there are a lot of people that aren't going to be happy with that. So if you the swag, who ain't, who ain't swag? Y'all all swag. Y'all got to bond together and push. Because the ultimate goal then is to put HBCU and the swag on another pedestal. Ride the wave. Ride the success story. Y'all are getting coverage and interest that you never would have gotten. Free promotion that your money can't pay for. The school I went to just approved an enhancement to the athletic facility that's larger than the entire budget of the SWAC. The reason I say that is because it takes that money and that effort and that support in order for it to be successful. We have a unique opportunity. Take advantage of it. Coach Sanders has been there long enough for you to see the vision. Coach Sanders and his team have been there long enough for you to see the vision. Several of the other organizations and coaches are moving in the right direction. Let's tighten up. Let's hold ourselves to that level of accountability that we want our kids to have. And I salute all the coaches because there's a lot of sleepless nights and effort that people don't see. So I salute you guys across, across the country. But in particular, my swag coaches, man, I salute all you guys. Young men that are buying in, even the ones that ain't winning right now. That's part of life, man. You still got to get up and buckle it up when it ain't going the way you want it. Guys, let's get it. Let's make it happen. What better way than for a, represent, a representative from our organization to go out there and do what nobody believed they could do? That's the way it's supposed to be, to support one another. That don't mean we got to agree. <laughs> that don't mean we can't be competitive, but we can respect one another. I believe, we believe. Let's make it happen.